Hello everyone, I am Sikandar Abura Kev. Welcome back to my digital electronics tutorial. Today I am going to show you XOR logic gate. Here is the symbol of XOR logic gate. Here A and B are the inputs and X is the output. And here is the Boolean expression of XOR output. This is the IC that I am going to implement. So, you can see it is 14 pin IC and to implement this XOR gate, I need some extra components, one LED, few connectors, 222 ohm registers and switches. If you look a bit to the pin configuration of this IC, it has quad 2 inputs XOR gate that means it has 4 XOR gates inside this IC and here is the pin configuration and we can see pin number 14 is VCC and pin number 7 is the ground and pin number 1, 2 is input and 3 is output, 4, 5 is input, 6 is output and the same way this pin configuration you are looking. And for my experiment, I am only using one XOR gate of this IC. Let us jump and construct the circuit. Here I connected the ground to pin number 7 and I connected the positive rail to pin number 14. And from pin number 1, I took a connection by yellow wire and from pin number 3, I took a connection for output like this and, and from pin number 2, I took another input connection. Pin number 1 is input, pin number 2 is input and pin number 3 is output according to the pin diagram of this IC, pin layout. I get connected from the this terminal to the positive rail and from this terminal to the positive rail of these switches and got the other edge of the switches through a 220 resistance to the ground and same goes for here also. Here I put the anode here and through the cath cathode of the LED I took a resistance here and put the ground here. So, my circuit is ready. Now, I am going to turn on the power supply of the breadboard and here if I check the output with the truth table, I am going to show you this is like 0 input A is 0, this is 0 and input B is 0, this is 0, so output is 0, LED is off. If input A is 0 and output is 1, if I press the button, then the LED is blinking, that means output is 1. If A is 1 and B is 0, that means in this condition, LED is on, which proves again the output is 1. Now, if the input A is 1 and input B is 1, the output should be 0. So, if I press the both buttons, it is again off. So, it proves the truth table. If I turn off the switch and show you a bit the pulse waveform, if I supply a waveform of this shape into input A and this waveform into input B, I will get the output waveform in this shape. If I look at the waveforms and if I recheck with the truth table here, input A1 and input B1, so output is 0 which follows the truth table 1, 1, 0. Here 0, 1 is 1, that means 0, 1 is 1 and 1 0, 1 0 is 1, so 1 0 is 1 
and here again 0 0 is 0 that means 0 0 is 0 which follows the truth table and here I can see 1 and 1 is 0 1 1 1 0 and 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 0 1 and 1 0 is again 1 that's why the output is 1 1 and here 0 and 0 is 0 so which follows entirely the truth table so in this tutorial I explained the XOR gate and the IC and the truth table and also finally I explained the pulse waveform and also I explained the IC 7486 and its pin diagram. I hope this tutorial was informative for you. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.